What's up guys? Uh, <clears throat> this one is going to be a video response to my buddy uh, RPM Idaho. So his link will be down below. He started this tag and uh, the tag is what would you carry on your person if shit hit the fan? Uh, not your rifles, not your shotguns, not your bug out bags, your get home bags, but what you would have on you if there was civil unrest and you had to go out and get your family some some supplies, whatever the case may be. So um, for me, I'm wearing a pretty normal shirt here and uh, see what you can see. But uh, for starters, I would have a sidearm, my SIG 45 caliber P220. Um, one thing I want to mention is I forgot to bring a couple things to uh, work with me tonight. That would be Oakley sunglasses. Uh, that will stop up to like bird shot and uh, save your eyes from damage with uh, small debris and particles and I would also have a neck knife, a fixed blade of some kind uh, but I, I did remember my RTAC 2 concealed actually easily under my shirt um, then I would have, of course, a lot of normal stuff like keys, my keychain. Um, these are 5'11 pants, and you can actually carry everything you would ever want pretty easily. Got a Benchmade tactical pin. I've got my Kershaw blur from a good buddy, What the Hell Prepper. And um, over on this side, again, easy access. I have a Surefire E1L flashlight, and one thing I didn't notice anybody else, my hip pockets are four extra magazines. Can't have enough ammo, guys, if shit hits the fan. Um, my left back pocket prints a little bit. Shit hits the fan, I don't care. I've got my Glock. Sorry, my Walther P22 with the laser. Not a big fan of lasers, but they are intimidating to a crowd. And then, I uh, guess that's about it. Oh, cigarettes. I'm a smoker. Two lighters. Spare cigarettes. Spare lighter, hand sanitizer, something to write on with the pen if you had to leave someone a message or a note. Um, paracord, got to have some cordage on me at all times. Watch. And uh, this pouch here, get some stuff out of the way. <clears throat> This is a uh, small EDC Maxpedition style pouch and um, believe it or not holds a whole bunch of crap. And uh, I've got like a spork that broke. Small Swiss Army knife. A bunch of aluminum foil that I could make a container with. I would probably carry a large container you could throw that at someone as a distraction while you draw your weapon to defend yourself. I've got a magnifying glass. I've got some actual rope, not paracord. I've got a um, break free, maintain the weapons. I've got a uh, fire kit in here. I've, I've put tape on there so the whistle doesn't rattle. You hear the matches rattling in there. I've got waterproof matches, compass, and uh, tinder in there, and some candles birthday candles go a long way, little cheap dollar store ones. And then uh, I've got a Leatherman in here. I've got an emergency blanket in here. I've got a third lighter in here. I've got a little bit of medical equipment, some more sanitizer, and um, just a bunch of medical random stuff, band-aids, bandages, um, hydrocortisone, antibacterial, and uh, triple antibiotic first aid cream. So 
you know, lightweight, easy to still run, not stuff you need to put in a backpack on your person. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. That's what I would carry if shit had hit the fan. Uh, around here, you probably get away with carrying your rifle around, and I probably would. But um, now I need to tag some people, and I uh, thought about this and who I'd like to tag and who I'd like to see on this. And uh, I'm going to tag Mr. Coop, 1967. You're it, buddy. And uh, I'm going to tag Superfly Fat Guy 859. Yo. I'm going to tag Da Ninja 42. And I'm going to tag Ranger 4321. So, guys, what would you have on your person? Shit hits the fan, civil unrest, not your bug out kit, but what do you have on you? Thanks for watching, guys.